It is 7.30 a.m. in New York, which means it's 4.30 a.m. in L.A. Good morning! I slept for four seconds. I might- I forgot my phone charger also, so I forgot my chapstick, my face wash, my headphones, my phone charger. Basically, I didn't pack. That's what happened. My lips are so chapped right now. My phone's on 10%. Somehow on low battery mode, though, your phone will just stay alive forever if you don't touch it. Because last night it was on 12%, now it's on 10 I'm like, what in the world? I got a wake-up call. My hair makeup's gonna be here in a second. Here's what's gonna happen today. Post-production fingers. Get my hair and makeup done. Go to the Calvin Klein show and be odd. Have a meeting after the Calvin Klein show. Possibly take a nap. Have a meeting with my editor who's in New York. Possibly take a nap. Get Get my hair and makeup done again, go to Calvin Klein after party, go to sleep. More than everything though, I'm gonna take as many naps as possible and do work wherever I can. My goal is the show and the party and the meeting. Hello, morning. Perfect, you can send them up. Bye. Uh, hair makeup's here. Let's just survive. Oh my god. Oh, I just, oh god. Oh my god, my body's broken. I'm so tired. But we're so grateful. New York fashion is gonna be great. It's gonna be freaking cool. Let's do it. This is happening right now. I'm about to get my hair and makeup done. Swike is here. Better not be vlogging. God damn it. Yo, I'm all done. So this is fashion, things I know nothing about. But like a messy ponytail, nude look that's very like Calvin Klein apparently. So this is the vibes. Wearing this shirt, these pants, and my dope shoes. The jacket just over my shoulders. Look at me. I know, I know fashion, of course. I just I woke up like this and I'm like minimalistic fashion. I actually quite like it. I like these pants a lot. These shoes are freaking dope. I love these shoes. I actually really like the messy ponytail and like nude makeup look. It looks very like, yo, I'm a normal human being and I'm down. I like it a lot. All right, we're heading to the fashion show. Let go! So cold! I'm like, can I just put my jacket on properly? Because these damn two pimples. It's fine. I'm a normal human being. It's cool. I saw bra lines. It's fine. I just saw Millie in the elevator. Isn't she so adorable and cute and smart? Yeah, and then the guy was like, can I help you with your little bag? And she's like, oh, no, no, no trouble at all. I was like, that's right. You Love her. Adore that. her. Adore her. Adore her. Swike, are you ready for your favorite day ever working with me? Yeah. <laughs> this is 100% for Swike. Yeah. Which, by the way, looks fabulous. No big deal. I know. I'm trying to get Lily to wear this coat, but she thinks. No, no, I'll wear it. If it's faux for I'll wear it. I'm done. Okay, bye. I'm here with one of my favorite people. Hello. So you don't know, so we're actually like sisters. I know it doesn't we're seem twins. like it, but we're twins. Identical twins. I was telling her that everyone on their bucket list should have have a conversation <laughs> with Carly. She's so smart and poised and literally one of my favorite people. That's the lame bucket list. No, it's, no, uh, it's not. It's so freaking amazing. She's so cool and awesome. Okay, I'll go back to the I know, I know. Okay. <laughs> we're at the Calvin Klein <laughs> show. I'm so excited. Let me show you what it looks like. Very cool. We're just blocking all of traffic. Yeah, we're also literally a deal. fire hazard right now. Where are we sitting? Do you know? We're sitting in front row. We're moving on up. Oh, girl, moving you, on you, what do you mean? You, I'm moving on up. You've been there, girl. Come on, please. Joanne the Scammer here. Me. Tell me she does not look like Joanne the Scammer. I'm losing my marbles. Yeah. And Sarah's like, this is the best thing you've ever done for me. Well, then I said besides the wrap. Almost and then immediately said, after. But they are taking back. I would be like, Sarah. Also, Sarah Jessica Parker is here, and if my sister was here, she would lose her mind. Guys. I'm losing my I am over stipulated. So looking at Sarah and she was standing there, she's like, I have nothing to say. I'm just like looking around everywhere. I look Sarah's head. Everyone's starting to sit down though, so maybe we should sit okay. down. Let's go sit down. Ready for the show? Let's go. Sitting next to this guy, stud muffin. What up? Multiculturalism. Oh Everything's getting so quiet. I know, so it's fashion. weird. It's really <laughs> We're so high fashion. Connor. I loved it. It was so great. Also, the colors. The colors are great, but one girl almost tripped in front of us. I almost had a heart attack. Girl almost tripped in front of us. She didn't, but I like put my heart stopped. I was like, <laughs> and then when rap came out, I almost had a heart attack. Yeah, true, true. I think Connor would look good in so much of the stuff, by the way. It's very Every much time my I style. saw stuff, I'm like, that's so Connor. Yeah, because I just like dressing like a dude. Yeah. The sheer. Oh, I love it. What up, what up? Just went to a meeting and then I'm back at my hotel. I ordered cutty rolls. I'm so damn excited for the cutty rolls. We love this natural makeup look I got going on here. Wish I knew how to do this, but I but I don't. A fashion show is so cool. I like being out of my comfort zone because like admittedly so much of the stuff I'm like, wow, that's like nothing I would have conceptualized in my mind. So it was very cool. It's also great to see Connor. I sat beside him in the show. And it was like funky to see because like at the end of the day, like fashion is art. People's fashion and the things they design, even though I'm like, oh, that's like a little bit like strange, a little bit cool. Like it's people's art. And I like I'm so accepting and cool with people's art. I also love the whole free the nipple vibe they had going on with the girls' the nipples showing stuff. I'm like down with that ish. The guys' nipples showing. I'm like down with that ish. It was really super super cool. And I started dope meeting too. I'm gonna chill for a bit. I'm gonna eat. Then I gotta go to two parties um, tonight. A Calvin Klein one and another one as well. So I'm gonna get glammed again and get ready for that again. But this lighting though, let me just take 700 selfies. Hold up. Also, today is February 10th. Do you know what today is? Do you know what today is? Hold on. Happy one year anniversary of 82UI.
exactly one year ago a trip to Unicorn Island the film released and changed my life and it was amazing and at this time my family was in town and I just finished the premiere and oh my god I can't believe it's been a year time honestly flies Happy anniversary and thank you so much even 365 days later for making that so incredibly powerful and meaningful to me and I just friggin cannot believe it's been a year since HTUI and I'm so happy to embark on on that note I think this is a good time to actually talk about this so you know tour dates are coming soon yes you know soon I just want to prep all of you that my book tour is not gonna be like HTUI HTUI you know was my creative vision coming to life it was taking you to a magical place with dancers and production and AV my book tour is not gonna be that I had the option of being like hey book tours are usually just going to bookstores and signing and I was like no I don't want to just sign things I want to like give my audience something and so I decided to do a show but the show is by no means HTY. It is going to be me, just me, no dancers, no production. I'm going to go on. It's going to be very TED Talk stylish where I'm going to talk about my book, do some motivational speaking. Of course I'm going to do some comedy and stuff as well but I just want to set your expectations of it's not going to be HTY. This is my way of just elevating a signing. It's going to be a one hour show. I will take some questions from the audience. I'll talk in my book, talk about what I've learned, try to motivate, try to inspire, try to make you laugh. I just want to let you know that it's HTY was that and this is something different. This is going to be a book tour so it's happy one year anniversary and I'm excited to do this different type of tour with you and it's gonna be awesome and I can't wait and thank you for supporting me and everything I do I literally cannot wait for the food to get here I'm so excited I need to be here now oh there it is yes got the rolls so damn good now I'm wearing track pants looking dun 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 you know wear my swags and we're heading to a meeting with Sarah not this Sarah not even Sarah size because I have 700 Sarah's honestly you white girls you think of a new name that's true editor Editor Sarah, editor of my book, let's go! What a montage! And scene. <laughs> Okay, I guess it is so low level. So let everybody look at this great bookshelf. Oh my god, what is this? Wow, it's not the final one. It's a bit way prettier than that. Wow, look at that. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> I'm back in my hotel room. Finish my meeting. Running so late, gonna get glammed again. I'm gonna get my hair braided. Yes. The vibes, though. I actually love this look. I got my hair braided. I got the little vibes. I got this thing going on. Got my sneakers here. Oh look. Let me show you. Bam, 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 boom. Kendall Jenner's over there. Oh wait. Oh my goodness, I'm so tired. We just had dinner. We are leaving for the party in 45 minutes and I'm like, yo, for the next 45 minutes, I'm taking a mother effing nap. I am so damn tired. I'm not gonna lie, I wish I didn't have to go to this party right now because I'm out three hours of sleep that I got last night. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. 45 minutes, let's go. I am so damn tired. I just knocked over so hard for 30 minutes. I'm gonna go to this party for like 20, 30 minutes and come home and knock the F out. I am so tired. Those three hours of sleep is catching up to me hard right now, but it's what I flew here for. So Sarah's like, you don't have to come. I'm like, no, 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 no. This is why I'm in New York. It's just like so cold outside. I'm complaining like a brat. I'm sorry, I'm cranky. We're gonna go. It's gonna be great. Let's go. We're going, we're going, we're going. Getting into this party right now, which is mother of war. There's like a 30 minute wait all the time. People are pushing and I was like, patience, hey, patience. Look, this is the sign of humanity. Don't like, girls stepped on my feet. People pushing each other. It was like Armageddon. There's no room to move. What up, boo thangs? Just had a photo shoot in the tub over there. No big deal. So I helped me out. It is like one something. We have to leave for the airport at 7.45. So I'm going to change, wash my face, and then poop, and then go to bed. That's the vibes right now. I went to the party. It was so jam-packed. It was like cool to spend time with some people. And I was like, I'm I'm over this. I'm over this and I need to sleep. But this whole experience was very, very super cool. I think fashion's so cool. I don't know much about it, admittedly, but it's cool to see like people expressing themselves in that way. I think it's really dope. So that's what's going on. I'm going to change. Get ready for bed. Speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, my name is Kyle Coons. <laughs> Just talk with Lele. Don't get 
Thank you for joining me on my wonderful day today at New York Fashion Week. We are heading to the airport in just a few hours, heading back to LA. As soon as I land, I'm going straight to a shoot. Lindsay is doing a shoot and she wants me to be a part of it. So I'm going straight there. I have a lot of work to do tomorrow, so every moment that I'm not shooting, I'm going to be working on something because I have a really, really big video shoot on Monday. That's going to require a hell of a lot of preparation and I don't have it prepared yet. So we're going to do that tomorrow, but I'm so excited to be heading back to LA because I'm cold and I want heat. And Humble's back in LA as well, so it's going to be great. Until tomorrow. If you like it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe. Yo, time for some self promo. I'm gonna give you a few reasons why you should pre order my book, How to Be a Boss, right now. You can get it in hardcover. I just saw a final cover today and the other day. It's sick as hell. I believe no matter who you are, how old you are, what situation you are in life, I believe this book can not only make you laugh, but help you. If you wanna pre order it, lacingbook.com is where it's at. If not, it's okay, I still love you. Bye.